Hello everybody and welcome to another Oxygen Not Included tutorial and this one is the happy and sad fish farm tutorial so fish meat is a really good food for your duplicates and it's relatively easy to get in the beginning as soon as you go and expand a little bit you'll probably come across um some fishies moving them is not the easiest because you do need a little bit of plastic for the fish traps but sometimes you get lucky and you get fishies like pakus relatively quickly out of the printing pod so you can use those and to start your happy and sad fish farm um and just to show you real quick how good the food actually is so fish meat starts over here which is the filet which is not even uncooked the filet itself is already plus four the cooked fish meat is even better which is plus eight to morale which is really good and if you get a hatch farm going up which i will also be doing a tutorial about how to update uh to to half automate and get the most out of your hatches um that will be the next tutorial that we're doing after this one if you get them both together to make surf and turf that already gives you a plus 12 to morale um, but let me show you how the sad and happy fish farm works so fish or pakus are a little bit special when it comes to oni and uh, the thing is so pakus eat a lot pakus eat algae but they eat a lot they eat like 140 kilograms of algae per day uh, we can do something better with al our algae like definitely do something better with that um and later on especially if you also do mushroom farming then you'll have to use like turn use the slime for that but you can also turn technically slime into algae but you know it's 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 a limited resource algae like it's not super easy to get more of it unless you keep doing space expeditions to get loads and loads more though like as i said one paku alone eats 140 kilograms and that is a lot that is a lot and you won't get a dead paku every day so um that's why we have our happy and our sad fish farm so this is our little fish farm that's all so how does this work so we feed these fishies we don't feed them regularly currently because we don't have much algae uh, but it's just a normal fish feeder we have a little i put a little bit of stuff in there but as you can see like there is one fish getting just about ready to nommy nommy nom and he already ate 20. right he already ate 20 algae that oh, there go there goes more there goes another 20. and as you can see they just eat so 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 very much and there go another 20 so they eat a lot like a lot a lot a lot a lot so um we don't want to waste all of our algae on these so what we do is we have a big tank with currently three packs well, technically there's supposed to be four but we currently have three because i've not been using this properly all the time because we already have a lot of sad fishies but more more about that later so you make a proper big tank where your pakus won't be overcrowded so i put i put, picked four and i have um let's do the math real quick we've got 20 21 uh 39 squares of water in here which is more than enough for four to not have them feel overcrowded they're currently glum because as i said i haven't been feeding them but now this one is they're still hungry but he's happy now so what do we do so if you feed pakus they will be eventually become tame at the same time because they're eating um you're feeding them they will become happy which increases their reproduction rate to really high so as you can see base reproduction is seven and because they're happy it's six plus 60. so 67 percent that means you know almost every like one and a half circle ish they will lay an egg so technically if you feed them you'll get loads and loads and loads of paku eggs but you just can't afford that so what we have in here is we have this we have we, we use automation so this is not a super early game setup this is more a little bit of late late game setup so what we have in here we have a critter sensor uh we actually have it currently set to three so it says the current critter and egg count three so if we get more eggs than three the extras are getting the the extras will be taken away um 
because we don't want to overcrowd these we want them to be to stay happy right so if one of these dies then the next egg that we get will stay in here and not get transported away um and it will um spawn to another paku and then the the cycle begins anew so what happens with all the extra eggs well let's take a quick look at the automation it's actually not very com complicated as you can see there's literally just the critter sensor controlling an auto sweeper the auto sweeper sweeps eggs and the eggs get deposited into the conveyor loader the conveyor loader then ships whoops that wrong overlay sorry it ships the eggs into here so these are the happy fishies these are the sad fishies um as you can see they're they're tame they're hungry they're overcrowded and they're glum but you would think oh if they're hungry and overcrowded and glum they're not reproducing but they are they have their base reproduction rate still even if they're hungry and sad they have a reproduction rate of seven percent per cycle so let's do the math Paco lives 25 cycles they age up at i think day five but even then they will lay one egg in their life cycle and you'll never have to feed them and because once the critter is tame it will always lay tame eggs so the the actual um animal that will spawn is tame as well this holds true for every fish that spawns in here so basically these get sustained without extra food so we take the extra eggs from here keep these happy dump them in here doing that we have now amassed uh, 191 fishies in this little tiny square that we don't need to feed and they'll just keep spawning and like they keep you know they, 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 they lay an egg and then they die so we get the meat and the egg grows up into a paku and then that paku dies and makes meat and makes it that but has laid another egg and so on and so forth um and you never have to feed those so at some point you can actually stop having happy fishies i could totally stop having happy fishies we have a lot of food in this particular colony this is the one that's been playing on stream um the only thing that you have to make sure is that you can totally limit them to one square like i did which is for lag reasons because if you look at pathing of a um of a paku they can go everywhere so with three it's fine but can you imagine 191 pakus all having this navigation and the game needs to calculate it would be absolute madness in when it comes to lag so um you can't have them on one square like this you have to make sure though that the room they're in is big and is not actually a room because if it's a room then you'll get the confined debuff and they will not lay e the eggs so that's why there's a little square that's open here so they are actually you know this is their entire room basically the entire base is their room as you can see it gets kind of highlighted that's that's their room so they don't get the defined uh confined debuff um and that's basically it uh we then when they die we actually automatically ship the eggs through the conveyor system again and they just dump them over here where we store our food and carbon dioxide and then we can do whatever we want with the egg so this is actually really 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 easy to set up you just need to make sure that these are actually happy so they have enough space they get fed regularly with a lot a lot of algae um and yeah you can also have your happy and sad fish farm and that's basically it thank you so much for watching have a good one take care i will see you all next time bye bye